the bayah uh, is actually, if you truly mean it and believe it, is bayah with Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, rahmatullah ta'ala alayhi. You know, bayah is with the heart and wherever your heart uh, is. And uh, alhamdulillah, uh, I wanted to talk about all the people for the Qadriya Silsila today that after Pirane Peer's uh, Parda from this dunya, how can we hold on to this uh, uh, Silsila firmly? Subhanallah. Ghose Paak radiallahu ta'ala left this dunya in the year 561 Hijra. Mm-hmm. But we can still be in his sohba. And to back up what I'm saying, I'm going to cite a, a couplet of Allama Iqbal. Allama Iqbal was a great fan of Maulana Jalaluddin Rumi. Subhanallah. Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. He says, Sohbate Pire Room Se Mujpe Hua Ye Raz Fash Lak Hakim Sarbajeb Ek Kalim Sarbakaf. I want your attention only on the first stanza. Sohbate Pire Room Se. Even though there was no physical Sohba, they lived in very different times. Iqbal lived 100 years ago, Jaudin Rumi Rahmatullah lived. Five, six, seven hundred years ago. So how and in what way was he blessed with the sohbah? That's the question. Today we are 800, 900 years after Ghose Paak radiallahu ta'ala. We can still benefit from his sohbah through his work, Mm -hmm. through his books, subhanallah. Authored around 40 books, gems of tasawwuf. Ghose Paak radiallahu ta'ala was not only a great alim, a great speaker, a great mufti, a great mudarris, mm-hmm. he was a great musannif. So we need to study his work. Bishop. We can still be in the sohbat of Ghose Azam. This is the legacy. This is the virasat of Ghose Paak radiallahu ta'ala. To benefit from the true teachings of the Sufiya, we've got to see what they have left for us. Ghosi Azam radiallahu ta'ala gave advice to his disciples towards the end of his life. And he stressed upon taqwa. Taqwa. He says, O my followers, O my muridun, fear Allah at all costs. Have taqwa of Allah. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, taqwa is the means of you being in obedience to the creator the more the taqwa the more you excel the greater you will be in the sight of allah because this is the only mayyad you know the only criterion in islam of superiority it's not family it's not country it's not language it's not your skin color no it is taqwa Allah says in Surah Al-Hujurat, verse number 13, In akramakum indallahi atqakum. The most honorable of you in the sight of Allah is the one who fears Allah the most. And Ghawse Azam radiallahu ta'ala, Allah Azad Fazil Barelvi says about him, Ghawse Azam, Imamu Tuqa wa Nuqa. He was not only a taqi, he was not only a naqi, Ghawse Azam, Imam Uttuqa wa Nuka. Jalwae Shane Kudrat Pilako Salam. Allah says, Jiski Mimbar Hui Gardane Aulia. How did he achieve this Mukama? Taqwa. Awareness of Allah. That's why he says, Qadami Hadihi Allah Rakabat Kulle Wali Yillah. And all Aulia of his time, Allah caused them to hear this claim. And he was Mamur Min Allah. He was mazoon min Allah. Allah commanded him. So, oh, Abdul Qadir, now you have reached that level where I want you to make this announcement. Oh, 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 All the awliya of the time. It is said that up to 50 great Sufiya and awliya were present in that gathering. Oh, oh. Including Hazrat Shehabuddin Suharwardi, oh, oh. the founder of Suharwardi system in Islam. Hazrat Khaja Sahib meditating in Khurasan. He lovers his head. Allah makes him hear this call. And he says, Bal ala ra'si wa aini. Ya Ghaus, your qadam is not only on my shoulders. 
your qadam is ala ra'si wa aini on my eyes oh. i take your and i i i, I hope uphold you mm-hmm. and you deserve that muqam so allah gave this credentials these abilities to go say pak radiyallahu ta'ala so he gives us the message and the importance of taqwa because to be a wali of allah this is a prerequisite alladhina amanu wa kanu yattaqun in awliya'uhu illa almuttaqun allah says in the quran ala khilla yawma idin ba'duhum li ba'din aduwun illa almuttaqin that's why we befriend the friends of allah this is the benefit that they will come to our help even in the hereafter when bosom friends will be enemies of each other quran majid says on that day only the muttaqin will they be there to help you so that's why we need to be alhamdulillah in the lineage yeah. of those who love sarkar e gaus e pak radiyallahu so that we may benefit from them in the hereafter